Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. In this video, I want to show you guys an asset which I've recently launched onto the Game Maker Marketplace. It's called Simple Particle Systems, Simple Particle Editor, and it's really easy to use and I want to show you what we've done. It uses a new feature that's been added to Game Maker, which is the variable uh, definitions window down here. So what I've done is I've created a particle system in Game Maker that exposes all of the parameters that are, n are necessary to create a particle system in Game Maker. The particle system object itself deals with the creation and memory management aspects of a particle system, but it allows you to just add these into a room and then configure them in such a way that allows you to get a desired result, such as the one that I've just shown you. Now that was created using two particle systems, one for the sort of blue gaseous background and one for the sort of little star fade in, fade out dots that sort of fly around the screen. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use this asset and how simple it really is to use. So let's go ahead and create a new room. I'm going to create a room like this. I'm just going to call this rm underscore live underscore demo. And I will just rearrange it so that it is the first thing that appears in the game. Oops, there we go. Like that. Um, so that means that this room is the one that will will play when we hit the play button. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag in a particle system to the instances layer. That's as simple as just dragging it out of the folder and into the game uh, into the game room. And then if I run the game and have a look what the particle system looks like. So right now that's a default particle system that it sets up when you pull a a, a particle system into the room. Now if I pull another one in and another one in like so. Let me just put that one there, and we run the game again, you'll see that we'll have three of the same particle systems. Now this is where the new feature that Game Maker has introduced comes into play, and I have a tutorial for this new feature coming up soon, um, but just to show you how this works in the context of this specific uh, asset, if you double click on an object or an instance in a room, it opens up this panel, and if you click on variables, you will get access to all of the configuration options that were made available for this object. Now, in here, obviously, this is a particle system. We can come down and we can click the edit button and that will allow us to make some changes. So we can change the colors. So first of all, I'm gonna change this to blue. Then I'll create another blue. Then maybe this one's a bit of a darker blue. I'll just go sort of a, a, a really dark and then I'll go like almost black, kind of highly saturated, but almost black kind of blue. Now, if we run the game again, we'll be able to see what that looks like. It'll be a little bit different to the two particles here on the side. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change the... Oh, I'm rearranging things here. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, I'm going to change the particle type from Sprite to... Actually, I'll leave it on Sprite. And then I'm going to edit this one here to override and I'm going to change... Sorry, not that one. This one. And I'm going to change this from SPR part Kenny to... SPR Puff Large. Now these are just Kenny assets from the Kenny asset packs. This is just a larger variant of the particle system. Now if I run that again, what you should see is a larger effect of the same thing basically. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this one here. I'm going to change some of the life parameters. I'm going to change the life from say 20 to 50 with a maximum life of 250. So we'll have some long lasting particles. If you run that, you'll see that those last a little bit longer. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come right down here and I'm going to enable the additive blend mode. That will allow the alpha channels to sort of stack up and it will get this nice glow to it. Sort of makes this really nice sort of game like magic fog. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to change some of these parameters for its emissions. So let's go down and have a look at... Hmm, what, what options do we have here? We have particle size, so I'm going to change that. Let's start them off at 0.5 and a maximum starting of, let's say, 1.5. And we'll also allow them to increase in their size by like 0.1. So every, every step they will increase in size. So now it's sort of like gaseous coming out at us. Now we want to get rid of this really abrupt kind of pop-in that we're getting. So we can animate the alpha channels just by coming down to the alpha now we've got four options for alpha we have one alpha which will only take into consideration alpha number one that means at all times 
the particle is going to be with an alpha value of one. There's no fade in, there's no fade out, it's just always enabled. Two alpha means that we're going to interpolate from one to whatever value number two is. If I put this at zero, this will basically, as you'll see in a second, this will basically mean that as the particles get older, they fade out to zero. Now we can't see them because they're moving so fast. So if we come back over here to the speed variables, speed min and speed max, I'm going to change that to 0.1 and speed max of, let's say, 0.2. And we're going to edit their increase and make it so that they don't increase in speed. Let's have a look at what that looks like quickly. There you go. Now they're still quite large. That's probably a different variable doing that. Let's have a look what else we have. We might have a size increase. So the size increase could be a little bit too fast. So let's change the size increase to 0.01. There we go. So now you'll see that the particles fade out as they get a bit older in their, in their lifetime. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we can change the emission shape. The emission shape is essentially where do the particles spawn in relation to the particle system on the map. And I'm going to change this to 500 by 500. And what that essentially does is it creates a square 500 by 500. Uh, so 500 to the left and then 500 to the right. So essentially 1,000 by 1,000 square around our particle system. And it allows these smoke sort of particles to spawn anywhere in that box. Now their animation for their size increasing is giving them this really nice gaseous look. Anyway, uh, going back to the alpha, we still have this pop-in where they kind of just magically appear on the screen and it, it, it's a bit distracting. So let's go and take care of that and make it really smooth. So we can come back down here to our alpha channels and we can use the three alpha, which gives us three modes of blend. We'll start the particles off completely invisible, no alpha. Then what we'll do is we'll ramp them up to an alpha of one and then we'll fade them out to an alpha of zero. What that means is that they'll start off invisible, they'll slowly become visible and then they'll slowly go away as, as they're dying, basically. They'll slowly disappear. So some other things that we can configure, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I think our, our colors may be a little bit too bright. This blue over here might just be a little too bright. So I'm going to go and darken that one up. I'm going to darken this one a step as well. And I'm probably going to make the third one, it's probably just as dark as it gets. Take it just a little bit even darker than that. So it's almost black. We should get some really nice dark black kind of particles. That's better. Because remember that the alpha blending will, will result in these really bright, vibrant areas. So we have this kind of smoky looking effect on the screen. Let's change the way that they emit. So we have emission types. We have emission types of stream. We have emission types of burst. These are game maker defaults. We can go and change the emission distribution to something like, so, so linear is a complete spread throughout that 500 by 500 box or 1000 by 1000 box. If I run this what, and I change it to Gaussian, what we'll get is a more focused on the center of that box. So you can see it's really focused on spawning those over here in the middle. Now, if I change that to the inverted Gaussian, what that means is that we'll focus mainly on creating the effects on the outside edges. So you can see most of the spawning is happening around the edges here. I actually think I may have got that the wrong way around. I think inverted Gaussian, sorry, is the central spawning and Gaussian is the outer edge spawning. So sorry about that. Um, but we can leave this on linear because I'm quite happy with an even distribution of um, particles being spawned throughout this box. What else can we change in here? Let's go and change some of the directions or the, actually let's change the direction. So direction is going to modify the kind of rotation of the of the sprite. So if I set this to zero, first of all, for the minimum and 360 for the maximum, that means that as they uh, spawn, they will pick a direction anywhere from zero to 360. So the sprite will rotate. So it will look a bit less sort of pattern defined, if that makes sense. And you can see them sort of fading in and out amongst each other. Now it doesn't look like the same, the same cloudy pattern spawning in and out, you know, in different places on the screen. So anyway, this is just a, a really basic demonstration of, of how easy it is to actually create particle effects now using this asset. Now, of course, you can go ahead and create, you know, your own version of this. I've just created one and thrown it up on the asset store thinking you guys might enjoy it. Um, it will be completely free for my Patreon. So if you jump on Patreon, you'll be able to download this project file, including the asset pack. Um, for the next, I think, one or two or three hours, it will be free on the Game Maker Marketplace. 
The only thing I ask is that if you do download it during this period, please go ahead and leave a review because it will really help the asset. I'd like to share it with people and also have people know that it is good, that it is usable, that it's bug free, that it's optimized, that, that other people like using it as well. So in this free period, if you do pick it up, please, 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 please go and leave a, a review for it. It would really mean everything to me. It's really cool to have access to editing the particles in Game Maker as well because we've we've never really had a good option to do this. It's always been a third party tool. It's always been something outside of the editor or playing with variables in code. This gives you a way to quickly and rapidly design uh, your systems without having to touch a single line of code. Let's change this to pixel as well. Wow, this video is completely unscripted. I'm really sorry about that. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you like the asset. I hope you think it's pretty cool. Please take a look at it. It will be free on the marketplace only for a short time. I'm not sure exactly how long. It might be an hour. It might be two hours. If you do pick it up, please leave that review. It really means a lot to me. And if you don't pick it up during that free moment, I think it's only going to be like a dollar or two dollars maybe. So you know, consider purchasing this for Game Maker for yourself to use. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now.